We're going to be seeing another hot and humid day here in Central Texas area, but we could be seeing some of those showers and storms later on this afternoon, continuing throughout the rest of the week. It's going to be cooling us down just a little bit, but today our temperatures are going to be in those mid to upper 90s. But like I mentioned, next week could be seeing some more of that rain. Now, here are some of the areas that are being impacted by that heat advisory for today. It's going to be from noon to 7 p.m. later on tonight, but of course, everyone should really be acting like we're under that heat advisory since it is going to be hot everywhere in Central Texas today. But let's walk you through your day. Like I mentioned, we could be seeing some of those storms and showers mostly in our afternoon hours coming through impacting areas near Killeen Temple and even in over here in Waco near our afternoon hours continuing throughout the evening hours as well as well as through Monday. We could be seeing those rain and storm chances pretty much from the early mornings until the afternoon hours as well. Tuesday could still also see some of those rain and storm chances continuing, but the good news is our temperatures are going to cool down just a little bit. We'll get to that in just a moment. Taking a look here at some of our temperatures later on today around noon. We're going to be seeing those temps in those mid 90s is about 95 around noon, climbing up to those upper 90s, about 97 around 4 o'clock. But really, it's going to feel like 107, 106. It's going to be in those triple digits from that heat index. So really, if you're going to be outside, make sure you're hydrating, make sure you're taking breaks in the shade. It's going to be very warm out there once again today. But taking a look at those highs throughout Central Texas, mostly in those mid to upper 90s, we're seeing 96 over in Bryan College Station area, 97 over in Waco. We're also going to be seeing 95 over in San Saba area. So we're going to be seeing those temperatures cooling down as well later on this evening into the those mid 70s and then warming back up to those lower 90s for our Monday. That cold front's going to come through and it's going to be making us cool down just slightly. That cool down is just going to be a couple degrees, but we'll take what we can get. And we could also be seeing some more of those storm and rain chances continue, about a 40% chance for Monday, 20% down on Tuesday. And then as the week continues, we're going to see those rain chances start to dwindle down as well, which means our temperatures are going to be going back up to those mid to upper 90s.